This is Jack. He's been living off the grid now for nine years. This is his solar array. It's also been off the grid for nine years. <laughs> it's definitely seen better days. Today we're gonna be upgrading Jack's solar battery bank with four 12 volt lithium batteries. We will be wiring them into a 48 volt configuration. Winter is coming, so we chose these self-heating batteries by Rodato. These batteries are priced right and are going to work perfect for us in these elements. We're gonna go ahead and remove the current battery bank out of the shed and go ahead and wire in these Rodato batteries. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is shut down the solar power coming in, and then we're going to turn off the inverter. Now that everything is shut down, we're gonna go ahead and start removing the old batteries. corner we chose these self-heated batteries by Rodato. Okay we've got all of our little packages of nuts and bolts here. Tie the terminals down. Okay I've showed you in some of my other videos how to do the wiring on these when you wire them in series. What we do is we have our four batteries set up like this. We take the positive from this battery and run it to the negative on this battery. Then we take the positive from this battery and run it to the negative on this battery. And then we take the positive from this battery and run it to the negative on this battery. And what that leaves us is on the end here is a positive and on the end down here is a negative. That brings all the 12 volt batteries wired together which will be 12 times four equals our 48 volts that we need. Okay, now that we got the batteries wired together in the 48 volt configuration, let's go ahead and wire in the batteries to the charge controller. Okay, this is going to be our negative terminal here. We've got a breaker for the, for the PV array coming in, but we don't have a breaker for the battery disconnect. There's actually no battery disconnect, there's only a fuse. Okay, there it is. The Redotto batteries are completely wired into the system. So now it's time to turn the system back on and see how it works. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna change the parameters on the TriStar charge controller to accommodate the Redotto batteries. Okay, we got the charge controller programmed here. It's showing us that uh, we're just bringing in a light little load of 460 watts at 53.1 volts. Usually these batteries like this will come in about 70% charge, so we do have some charging to do for them. We're gonna go ahead and leave the computer hooked up to the charge controller and monitor the batteries in the system for a day or so. Just like that, you got a thousand watts more. How about that, about 1220 watts now. That raised it up. This has also been a very reliable inverter. It's also made it nine years. So for those of you that don't know, these lithium batteries here will not charge if the temperature outside gets below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So a lot of people keep these things inside of their house. You can still pull power out of these batteries below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but if you ever go below zero degrees, the batteries will completely shut down. Being that our setup is inside of the shed, we have to definitely make sure that we have the heated batteries. The fact that these batteries can self-sustain in any environment makes them a great choice. If you need a set of heated lithium batteries like this, just check out the link in the description. I'll have the Redotto batteries and the other solar equipment I used here, such as the charge controller and the inverter. 